Hey everybody, welcome back. So I have been doing stuff off camera as I said before. I finished Val Shiraz. as you can tell we are now here in High Mountain. Uh, just to, you know, give you guys an idea, if you can see here, finished all the story in Val Shiraz. We got the, the uh, Tears of a Loon and I uh, took care of saving Malfurion in the dungeon and such. So now we are here in High Mountain. And I am now at 109, as you can probably see there. Uh, almost there to 110. Though I have found out some stuff uh, that's going to happen pretty soon here. Um, because I decided to work on a couple of other off-camera characters I have. And I got my Warlock to 110. And guys, when you hit 110, uh, at this point, uh, at the time of this recording, BFA, Battle for Azeroth, has been out for about a week. So, this is now, like, it was the first time I, like, leveled a character to 110, as opposed to, you know, using a boost to get them to 110. And you just get, all of a sudden, all the stuff unlocked for you. Like, there's a ton of stuff. Um, with, if you're wanting to follow the story, you gotta do it in a certain order, and it's kind of... Uh, I may have to be like, what's the chronological order for the quests in Legion once you get to 110? And it's like, oh, this, 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 this. Because um, keep in mind, guys, I'm almost at 110, and I've only, I'm have only i only doing the third starter zone. I haven't gotten to Stormheim yet. Of course, I have not gotten to Suramar yet. And that doesn't even count the stuff that involves, um, you know, doing the scenario to get back to the Broken Shore and get to the stuff where you get to the Tomb of Sargeras with Kill Jaden and then going to Argus. There is still so much to do. And I'm realizing I may actually get to 120 still doing Legion stuff before I even get to the Battle for Azeroth stuff. Which, and you know, I've heard that, you know, some interesting, uh, both mixed things, um, in regards to how it's going, uh, how people feel about the changes to the classes. Uh, I hear the Shaman is actually going to get some interesting changes in the upcoming patch 8.1 uh, that could actually help uh, make the enhancement spec better. I mean, I've always enjoyed the enhancement spec. I mean, I've never been a fan of the elemental. I tried it out, and I was like, eh, not really what I was kind of wanting to do. I will say, though, I've played Resto in a couple of dungeons, and Resto actually feels pretty good right now. A uh, lot of good AoE healing, uh, different abilities and such that you can be able to do in that. So I've actually been enjoying Resto uh, currently. I know some people have some issues with it. Um... You know, and you know, some people like elemental, some people don't. You know, you know, the thing is, the shaman is not in a great spot these days, and it hasn't been in quite some time. Uh, a lot of classes have gotten a lot of good attention, uh, to, you know, drawn to them, but the shaman has kind of been neglected for a lot of the time. There was a period of time where it was pretty good, but then it just kind of fell off the face of the earth. So I'm hoping that whatever changes they have planned for the next patch for the shaman is going to be some good positive changes to make it. Uh, a strong class again even though i personally been have enjoyed playing the enhancement shaman it's you know it's the class i've spent the most time with it's the only character i have that i have like leveled from level one all the way to this point without using any boosts so you can imagine that i'm, I'm quite attached to the shaman class um and i'm hoping that some of the changes that are coming will be some good ones so for this part um I thought I would show you a couple cool things that you can do in this zone. For one thing, I like this uh, upcoming quest I'm going to show you here that you can get from Spearwalker Ebonhorn, uh, where you get to play as Holm High Mountain. Also, there is a quest involving Murky, and I'll show you that because uh, it's pretty cool, pretty fun, especially if you play Heroes of the Storm. Greetings, All right, outsider. Here are your stuff. Let Spirit me see the vision. Show me the War of the Ancients, featuring Holm High Mountain. Holm was the strongest of champions and first of our at the call of Crassus. He defied the Legion and defeated many demons with the Eagle Spear. You know, it's funny, it's called Eagle Spear now, but if you play the Hunter, it's called the Ebon Claw. Or not the Ebon Claw, the, uh, the Talon Claw. You just swing, swing, swing. Infernal 
Infernals, please. Why ain't you fell Infernals for breakfast? I love that they just made Holm just so overpowered in this scenario. feels like a survival hunter. Now that I've actually gotten a chance to play as a hunter. Holmes prowess in combat was unmatched. Alright, let's dash this way towards the uh, quest turn in marker. What's with this move? Super epic music. <laughs> All right. Complete that. This way. Look at all those guys there. Nice ability to go across the map here. Holm sought Ekero, a beast injured in combat with many demons. Each Malfurion. Malfurion Storm Rage eagerly awaited the arrival of Holm and his Tauren reinforcements. Crassus, also known as the Dragon Coriolstras, aided their efforts from the sky. Oh, a scenario. Blessing Holm High Mountain. Your people shall forever have my favor. With the horns. I have to really get to work on trying to uh, forest, see if I can uh, unlock recognized Holm's greatness. The uh he bestowed him high mountain horn and such for the allied races. I, am, I have not done that at all. Young Malfurion. Oh, hi, Malfurion. At your own follows you? That is no ordinary beast. It is one of Malorn's chosen. Truly, you are blessed. Oh. Wait, what? Uh-oh. What happened? Why is it? What's going on? Uh, what, 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 what's going on here? Uh-oh. I know what it is. The game's lagging again. Urgh. Why is this happening lately whenever I try to record? Everything just freezes and lags. Ugh. Oh my gosh. He needed protection while performing the final magical incantation. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Shadow song. Jared Shadow song. Awaited Holm's arrival in the battlefield below. He had a special task for Heinz while organizing and commanding his troops. And it's funny because you get to meet up with him and do class and do a, a, a segment of the story with him and Val Shara. 
taller. Hychondrius! Play with your imps while I do the real work. Next one is on you. Though I am curious whether or not this is actually the same Tychondrius from Warcraft 3. I'm not really sure if it is. It'd be cool if it is the same Tychondrius, but I'm not, I don't know. Defeat the Lord of the Nathazim, Tychondrius. With his defeat, the attack on the shark will fail. I guess we only defeat him, we don't kill him, because Illidan ends up killing him. So maybe this is the same Tychondrius and he was just defeated. Tychondrius out of this world with the eagle spear. Yeah, there you go. He returned to his homeland after the War of the Ancients, and it was renamed in his honor. So Tychondrius was only defeated, not killed by High Mountain. He was killed later by Illidan in Warcraft 3. I serve the descendants of Holm. More money, I'll take that. Holm's War. May the ancestors. I will await you in a lodge on the southwestern bluff. I advise against delay. Well, sorry, Ebonhorn, but there is gonna be a delay. Because now I'm gonna show my viewers the murky quest. I will say it is kind of cool to uh, follow Ebon Horn and he shows uh, Mela uh, the um, uh, Deathwing's lair or old lair before he was uh, defeated and imprisoned, you know, down below. Um, and then he reveals to her that he's a he was actually a black dragon, but then cleansed of his corruption by Hone. And uh, has been shapeshifted as a tauren, uh, just helping out the High Mountain tribe. It is a pretty cool little bit of the story to find out that he's actually a, a black dragon, but he's cleansed of the uh, evil corruption that the black dragons had. It's a pretty cool part. Though getting there is a bit of is a a bit annoying, having to go through all the various different giant enemies are in that area. Hail. All right, so to Shipwreck Cove, I wanted to show you guys this quest because it's pretty cool uh, for me who has played Heroes of the Storm a lot, um, you know, and has uh, played Murky a lot. And uh, as far as the story for High Mountain, I mean, I am currently working on the Skyhorn tribe, and then I don't know, maybe I'll go, maybe I'll show you guys the Blood Totem tribe stuff, but it's. It's actually not... See, see the thing... Un, the, the unfortunate thing about High Mountain is that the story is not bad. It's just... It just feels kind of underwhelming. Especially when you find out they actually cut uh, portions of the story out uh, for High Mountain. There was actually supposed to be more to the story. Like, more interesting stuff with some other bigger name lore characters. Um, including someone... I forget his name, but he's like a... a, a pretty big named lore character um and they just cut it out they just removed it from the story for high mountain so it made high mountain in terms of the main story less interesting but the fun thing about high mountain is that there's a lot of cool interesting uh fun and interesting side quests like the one i'm about to do now with the with murky and the murlocs uh, of course over here uh not the witchwood uh down here nesting wary you get to do more stuff for nesting wary he gives you this uh t big 26 slot bag so it's absolutely worth doing that stuff for nesting wary um, you know, you didn't, you, you try to unite the tribes here and, uh, go up against the guy with the hammer that belongs to the Titan. Um, so it's not a bad story. It's just, it feels a little underwhelming compared to some of the other stuff, especially compared to what it could have been. Um, you know, if they hadn't cut out the material, which is a shame. It's a real shame. Okay. So here's the quest. King So... Murky's egg. You open the egg. And now I am Murky! Mar Marla, stop it. I'm trying to show Murky. Night Murky! So look at this. I have slime, pufferfish, bubble, and March of the Murlocs. It's Heroes of the Storm. And I love it. I love that here, the devs were like, you know, it'd be fun. Let them be murky from Heroes of the Storm. This is great. I love this. 
the uh, other Murlocs. They're, of course, not my enemies. The enemies I have to take are, uh, well, not, not this guy. He does drop that, but... No, 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 stay focused. Are these guys cavernous clackers? Got my puffer fish, slime, slime again, bubble to heal. Boom. You don't need you know you don't need to click. Use your hot keys. They're right there. One, two, three, four. Alright. I'm trying to see if I can turn myself from a clicker into a hot key uh, keyboard presser. I'm guilty of being a clicker for a long time playing this game. Look, see, right there? I clicked it. Ugh, when I could have just pressed you. That's why I watched someone's video about tips on how to become a better player, because he said he was guilty of this, is that if I want to be a better player, I need to stop clicking. Being a clicker, as he called it. Use your hotkeys. I've never even learned how to make macros in this game. I never had someone to kind of help me, like, all right, if you want to be a, become a better player, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to learn how to do. Never had that. Bubble, and then... March of the Monarchs! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Just like heroes. So great. I don't know how to change my camera angle and such without clicking on the screen. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. He's this way. My mighty foe is here. Looks like there's another murky player there. It's a murky player. Just like in Heroes. Stop him from destroying the lanes. Yeah, see? Someone was here and already destroyed the boss. I have to wait. Uh-oh. Did I, did I get... Did it phase? I think it phased. Hold on, hold on. Back up, Murky. Back up. There he is. All right, now we can go in. While Marla does nothing to help me. Fish, slime, march.
<laughs> He's like, yeah! Victory! Alright. Oh, the claudacity. Yuck, 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 yuck. Ooh, 28% upgrade. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, fashionista legs. Eh. I have done... I never cook. If you look at my professions... Whoops. 154. Pfft. Hopefully that'll change once I get to 110. Skinning is great, but look at my professions. I am pathetic when it comes to actually working on my professions. Oh, man. I've always been so far behind just focusing on leveling that I just never... You know thought I could take the time to work on professions or never really saw how what the benefits were okay let's see hmm I need to go back here if I want to start that but I am kind of in the middle of the skyhorn stuff which I'll just use my astral recall because it'll take me back there to skyhorn So I've got some stuff here to do. The Harpy Assaults. There's also a couple of things here. More the, After you do the, the Nessing Wary stuff, he sends you over here to do a couple more quests over there, which you can get a toy out of it or something, but it's like, eh. And then there's the Secrets of High Mountain if you want to uh, see what Ebonhorn wants to, wants to show you. So, you know, like I said, Unfortunately, the High Mountain quest line is a little underwhelming, not very interesting and such, so, um, as you can see, you know, my characters are very rested. <laughs> they have a, they have had a tendency to be very rested, so they're leveling up, uh, probably faster than, uh, you know, than usual, because they're so rested, um, so that's why I'm probably getting to 110 faster, and getting to the point where the game's gonna be like, hey! Hey, you have all this stuff you can do now. I'll do all this stuff. You know, that's how it felt with my Warlock. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much that I still have left to do here in Legion. And, but at the same time, it's like, it's like, here's the Lordaeron stuff. Go to BFA. And it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much going, you know. I'm, I'm having the realization I may end up getting to 120 while still here in High Mountain. Or not High Mountain, just in Legion. Before I even get to uh, Battle for Azeroth and Zandalar. Which, honestly, I'm okay with. I I enjoy Legion. Legion is one of my favorite expansions that this game's ever had. I enjoy these zones. I enjoy the class order hall stuff. I enjoy the artifact weapons. I enjoy that stuff. Um, and Battle for Azeroth is so brand fresh and new. There's, uh, you know, there's a lot to do in Legion where right now, obviously, it just got started. They have yet to uh, release some more content and such for BFA. Even though I've heard there's still there is a lot and some fun zones there, but... You know, that's for people who have been doing non-stop playing of this game, whereas me, I took time off, and I was playing other things. I had other things to do. So I'm only just now catching up, and, you know, I'm enjoying it right now. So I, I guess the point I'm saying is I'm in no rush or hurry to get to BFA. I'm just in interested in enjoying the Legion content with these characters. Um, I was more interested in getting to 110 just because you could not progress in your class order hall campaigns, which is something I'm more very interested in, in, in doing and enjoying uh, until you get to 110. And then that stuff becomes available. But at the same time, all this other stuff becomes available. You know, so... I don't know. Um, I guess what I'm, I'm probably going to be doing... Um, because the more I think about it, I was thinking about showing you guys some of the story here in High Mountain. I don't know. The Blood Totem part is kind of interesting, but I don't know. Um, <sighs> I'm so conflicted. Part of me kind of likes it, but part of me is kind of like, yeah, it's not that interesting, but I don't know. I'm trying to save some interesting stuff for you guys to see as opposed to some of the boring stuff. You know, obviously, you don't want to see me go... Uh, capture six rabbits 
or take down six bone beak hawks. You know, I'm trying to spare you guys from having to see all that stuff. Um, and save the more relevant story stuff, like the like the vision about Hone or the Murky Quest, which was just straight up fun. Um, so I don't know. I'll try and I'll think about it and try to figure out where I want uh, to go from here, or if I just want to do uh, High Mountain. Who knows? Maybe by the time I finish the High Mountain uh, story here, I'll be 110. You know, and I'll probably try and figure out what order I want to show you guys certain things in terms of the story. Um, because that's when the story for Legion, like the end game stuff, uh, really opens up. As soon as you hit 110, boom, you just get bombarded with a bunch of stuff. Uh, your class order hall opens up more. You get more access to other things. You are, you know, have to do more certain things like world quests then open up here in the Broken Shore or the Broken Isles because we haven't even gotten to the Broken Shores yet. Though the scenario to do that is kind of cool. But again, it's like trying to figure out the order of this, you know, it, it feels out of place to go to Argus first before you go to the Broken Shore, or to, do, you know, I haven't even, again, I have never done Suramar with any character. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do when I go here to, look at all this. This is Suramar. Suramar has 11 story chapters. I have no idea what to do or how to do it once I get here. This seems like, holy moly, this is, this is a lot. And people did this when they were 110. This was a, like, like, they got to 110, then this is what they were doing for a good portion of time without getting XP rewards. Like, just getting things like mana or whatever it is. You know, I'm not really sure. Like, do I even want to do Suramar? Or is it really that interesting? There's 11 story chapters here, so perhaps it's interesting, but I don't know. Do I just want to ignore Suramar and, like, do Broken Shores or do Argus? I don't know. I have to, like, do some research on this. I'll probably have to go to my buddies on Wowhead and be like, hey, what is worth doing at this point in Legion? Once you get to 110, what is interesting? What order do you do them in? So together. I'll probably have to try and figure that out and then see where we can go from there. So, yeah. Because um, there are some things I want to do. I, w I do want to go to Argus and see what that was like. Like, I heard or saw, like, there's an achievement somewhere in Argus, like here in the Antorn Waste where you could get a really cool mount and I really want that mount. Um, there's some interesting Broken Shore stuff here. Look at this. This is where you can go, you know, there's the Tomb of Sargeras is there. You know, I'm kind of interested in how that works and, you know, and plus, once you hit 110, some more other dungeons show up, uh, open up for you. Like, as you can see here with the, uh, the, the, the dungeon finder, these are the only dungeons that I have, I have access to. But look at some of these other dungeons you can do. You could be able to do the Black Rook Cold once you hit 110. You could do the Vault of the Wardens. You could uh, try some of these other ones. Uh, Maw of Souls, you know. You know, a couple of these I've never done before. I've never done the Arcway or the Seat of the Triumvirate or Return to Karazhan. I've never done any of these. So I would love to be able to have a chance to do some of this stuff. You know. You know, to be able to, uh, you know, plus I've heard... Uh, I've seen that you actually need to do some of those, beat some of those dungeon bosses to get access to certain things of gear in your class order hall. It may not be as strong as stuff I'll get later, but at least it would be a nice transmog, you know, I think. It would be a cool transmog set, I think, would be very cool to have. That's what I'm kind of doing with my warlock right now. So, yeah, I'll probably be doing stuff, and I don't know. We'll just continue whenever I feel like this would be a good place to, to continue or something that's, I think,